if you don't admit that you don't know a lot, that you don't know everything, that you need God to instruct you, the Holy Spirit to uh, illuminate the Word, then you will be deceived. This is a fact. Hondo. Hondo. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hondo channel. So of course I got criticized. It's becoming very normal, but that's alright. Which which raises the question what is a false teacher? Are there false teachers? It seems like the people who who get upset with me don't even believe that there is such a thing as a false teacher. Don't condemn anybody. Don't criticize anybody. Don't criticize Finnish Dake. Don't criticize Michael Heiser. God doesn't want anybody to die. He's a nice, he's a nice person. God doesn't condemn men to death. If men don't repent, that's okay. It's okay that we have false teachers or there is no such thing as a false teacher. How do we even know that a man is a false teacher? Is it possible that you guys that love Michael Heiser have been deceived? Is that even possible? Is it possible that you know God so well that no man, no false teacher could ever deceive you? Is that possible? I don't think that's possible for any of us. It's possible that I'm deceived. We only know by scripture. We also need a humble heart that believes First of all, that God leads us, that God teaches us, and that we can be deceived. You guys think that it's not possible that the guy that I like is a false teacher. The guy that I adore, I read all his books, I believe everything he says. It's not possible that he is a false teacher. That is absolutely possible. I'm not going to change my mind on Michael Heiser. He has demonstrated again and again that he believes wicked things and Finistake and Frank Turk and Norman Geisler and all these men the open theists false teachers exist this is absolutely true you can go back to Deuteronomy 13 God allows false teachers to test his people to see whether we are going to depend on him seek his face to understand his word and obey his word or are we going to believe a man that tickles our ears makes us feel good and gives us interesting things and tells us things that elevate us are we going to say that no that's that is absolutely wrong if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give it the a sign or a wonder king james and the sign or the wonder comes true concerning which he spoke to you saying let us go after other gods and let us serve them you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. The Lord your God is testing you to find out if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him. You shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him, and cling to him. You are not cling to men. Cursed is the man who trusts in men. This is Jeremiah 17. It is even possible that these false teachers cause signs to happen. They can be very convincing. Jeremiah 17, 5, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in mankind and makes flesh his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. For he will be like a bush in the desert and will not see when prosperity comes, but will live in stony wastes in the wilderness, the land of salt without inhabitant. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. False teachers exist. It is possible that you are deceived. It is very possible. It is possible that you don't know enough to tell between a good teacher and a bad teacher. It's possible for all of us. If we don't admit that, first of all, there's no way you can know whether a man is a false teacher or not. If you don't admit that you don't know a lot, that you don't know everything, that you need God to instruct you, the Holy Spirit to uh, illuminate the word, then you will be deceived. This is a fact. And if you think that all the men that you like are true gospel ministers, and it is not possible that any of them could deceive you because you are wise enough in yourself to understand the word completely then you will be deceived because you are trusting in yourself.